The occasional slip-up is practically inevitable, given the fallibility of human beings. On the other hand, mega-projects in the building industry are meticulously planned. However, there are exceptions to this rule. This video will examine the ways in which a New York tower almost came crashing down, how construction sites were postponed for decades, and how billion-dollar mistakes were made. Number 5. 20 Fenchurch Street 20 Fenchurch Street is a London business skyscraper that gets its name from the street it is located on. The record price for a single building in the UK was roughly $1.8 billion, paid for by a Hong Kong manufacturing business called Lee Kum Ki. Upon its completion in 2014, the tower was not only dubbed the ugliest new building in Great Britain, but also called a walkie-talkie because of its unusual design. But it was different from where the building's actual issues lay. During the planning process, an unusual but very inexpensive error occurred at 20 Fenchurch Street. With its massive glass front that reflects the sun's rays, the walkie-talkie resembles many contemporary skyscrapers. But this created an issue since typical skyscrapers have straight walls. Unfortunately, the south side of the structure has a somewhat concave curve, which means that it gets the most sunlight during the day. So, the sun beams directly onto the street and the houses across the street because of the walkie-talkie. This resulted in six times the usual strength of reflection of the sun's beams throughout the summer. Consequently, this led to extremely high temperatures, which melted parked cars and cracked pavements. Sky News featured a reporter who used only the reflected sunshine to fry an egg across the street. Raphael Vinoli, who was responsible for the building's design, had a similar issue with the reflection of sunlight at the Vidara Hotel in Las Vegas. He addressed this issue in an interview by saying that the south side should have horizontal louver windows. Nonetheless, they were subsequently omitted from consideration during the planning stage. Additionally, Vinoli mentioned that he was unaware of the impending heat wave and that the weather was much milder when he had initially arrived in London many years ago. A parasol, which ended up costing about $14 million, was installed to solve the problem. Number 4. Stuttgart 21. The German construction of the massive Stuttgart 21 railway project is well underway. Due to the need to rotate a whole train station by 90 degrees, the project is definitely one of the most intriguing construction sites in the country. When trains used to stop here, they had to reverse their departure because the station was a terminus. The government chose to convert the rail station into a transit station because this takes up much needed time. Thus, the station can become an integral part of a 1,500 km high-speed rail network that links Bratislava, Munich, Stuttgart, Vienna, and Paris. It was initially anticipated that the Stuttgart 21 would cost, at most, $5.4 billion and would be completed in 2019. They could have been more successful in accomplishing any of those objectives, though. For a variety of causes, the project's completion has been repeatedly postponed. It has been delayed by more than six years from its original schedule, but the rail station is currently projected to open in 2025. Constructing problems with the tunnel added to the list of reasons Stuttgart 21 was postponed, along with protests from numerous Germans and environmentalists. A tunneling project of around 60 kilometers in length is required to link the new station in Stuttgart to the previous rail network. The task becomes complicated due to a specific kind of dirt that expands when exposed to water. Thus, the issue of having to replace the tunnels repeatedly may arise. One more unexpected but relatively minor issue surfaced in 2017. As a result of the construction project, thousands of lizards that were rigorously protected had to be moved along the route from Urn to Stuttgart. Project managers have put the price tag on this occurrence at $18 million. The blameworthy business has levied fees of up to $10,000 for every lizard in extremely challenging instances. Stuttgart 21's budget 
will go over budget by a significant margin due to both time and money overruns. By the time everything is said and done, the price tag might reach about $12 billion, according to some estimates. Number three, Citigroup Center. The Citigroup Center is a New York City skyscraper that houses offices in the heart of Midtown. An unusual feature distinguishes the 280-meter-tall skyscraper. Four 34-meter-long foundation pillars hold it up. A huge issue was found in 1978. Up until that point, engineers had gauged the building's stability by extrapolating the effects of winds that were not directly overhead. Nevertheless, the quarter winds that hit the corners were not factored in. The issue was uncovered during a conversation between William Lemessurier, a civil engineer, and Diane Hartley, a civil engineering student from Princeton. There was a strong wind, she said, and the building could topple over at any second. This is why the engineers have initiated preliminary structural safety tests. Diane Hartley, a college student, was obviously correct, and they soon found out. On average, a wind strong enough to cause a building to crash down happens every 55 years, according to Le Messurier's study. A wind that happens once every 16 years would already be strong enough if the installed mass damper couldn't work because of a power failure. The consequences of a building collapse would be a catastrophe. This building would topple over instead of collapsing, as opposed to a demolition. It was imperative that this not happen because it could set off a chain reaction that would damage or even bring down neighboring New York City skyscrapers. The situation deteriorated further. The city was suddenly in the path of Hurricane Ella. Some swift action was required of the engineers. Even the mayor of New York City was unaware of the problem, and the public was kept in the dark so as not to trigger a widespread panic. Through three months of nighttime labor, the engineers were able to resolve the issue. To strengthen the Citigroup Center, they thickly welded two-inch steel plates onto the building's bolted joints. Luckily, the area was spared from Hurricane Ella, and the multi-million dollar repair was finished in October, 1978. A complete account of the story, which Le Messurier had casually mentioned at a party, was published in an article by The New Yorker 17 years afterward. Number 2. Jeddah Tower. Located in Saudi Arabia's capital city of Jeddah, the Jeddah Tower, formerly the Kingdom Tower, is a prominent landmark. The Jeddah Tower was set to become the world's first one-kilometer-high building, standing at a height equivalent to 2.5 Empire State Buildings piled on top of each other. Building this tower is part of Saudi Arabia's plan to attract tourists in the same way that Dubai and its iconic Burj Khalifa have done for their economies. Building on the Jeddah Tower commenced in 2013 with an expected completion date of 2018. Construction on the tower halted, with just one-third of the structure finished due to significant issues brought on by the Saudi Arabian purge of 2017. The Saudi authorities sentenced Prince Al-Walid bin Talal and other principal project backers to prison. Even when the investors were let go a few months later, there still needed to be a set time frame for when the project would be finished. Standing at 252 meters, the tower had already reached its peak when it came to a halt. Worker safety is paramount. Hence, COVID-19 has again pushed back the anticipated 2020 construction restart. There has been a complete standstill at the building site ever since. At least $1 billion would go down the drain if the project were to be shelved in the middle of its construction. Number 1. Berlin-Brandenburg Airport Germany is currently developing an international airport called Berlin-Brandenburg Airport. The initial plans was for the facility to open in 2011 at a cost of about $2.4 billion and to begin building in 2006. But then there were years of setbacks due to crooked practices and humiliating failures. That meant there was no way the building deadlines could be satisfied. The announcement of the insolvency of a participating planning company happened in 2010, almost one year prior to the initial opening date causing the first postponement. 
Additional setbacks occurred as a result of fire safety regulations that still needed to be met. Not only that, though, the airport was also unable to pass the necessary acceptance test to be operational. Furthermore, cooling pipes without thermal insulation totaling 67 kilometers were built. Dozens of walls were demolished and pipes were replaced in order to rectify this error. The original budget has ballooned to $8.3 billion, more than double since the beginning. The Berlin-Brandenburg Airport finally opened to the public in 2020, 14 years after work had begun and nine years later than the initial projection. The airport's failure does not end there. The airport may not be able to support itself financially even once it opens. To avoid going bankrupt during and after the epidemic, more money will be required, which might amount to an extra $2 billion. Thanks for watching. If you want more videos like this one, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel to never miss out on any of our videos.